Select this edge loop and press E to extrude, then G and Y to translate it back a bit. Working from the back view will widen these out evenly. Using top view to adjust the shape. These additional spans will create lip thickness. Select these edges and extrude outward. Adjust the shape. We'll add another edge loop here to help create lip volume. Most of the work involves shaping to create smooth curves and removing any flat shapes. The corner of the mouth is currently looking very pinched, thin, and unnatural. We can start smoothing these vertices, moving them in and forward to add volume to the corners of the mouth. The corner of the mouth can take quite a bit of work to make them look right and give them a soft, natural appearance. So it involves a lot of tweaking and gradual shaping in this one small area. While shaping, I'll often switch from edit mode to object mode to undo and redo. Doing this in object mode will skip over the bulk of the edit moves and provide a before and after comparison. Sometimes it will be an improvement and sometimes not, so then in that case I would go back and try something else. Switching to flat shaded surface will create an overlap to close the mouth. We'll need to exaggerate the overlap between the upper and lower lip because once subsurface back on, the geometry will shrink a bit. Back to smooth subsurf shading, we'll finish closing the mouth. We'll do this by adding another edge loop inside at the back to help hold the shape. And we'll bring these in closer. Adjusting the lip thickness wall before extruding to continue the inside geometry of the mouth. Selecting this edge loop, press Ctrl Numpad Plus to increase selection and H to hide the back inside of the mouth for now. We'll continue shaping the mouth using the reference images. Adding another edge loop here. Forming the indentation at the upper lip.
gradually building where highlights and shadows should be over the surface and controlling the transition amount. shaping a slight indentation for the bottom lip. Unhiding the inner mouth geometry will make final shape adjustments. <laughs> 